Welcome to Dining and another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about reasonable torque limits. So here's our stage 5 software in the dash line and in the red line there's our stage 6 software and as you can see the torque is very very similar at lower RPM and then the, when the torque starts to drop what they do is they separate and we just hold the torque up for a longer period of time. And since we talked earlier about the relationship of torque to horsepower, what that does is that increases the horsepower because horsepower is a mathematical calculation derived from torque. The whole point behind the bigger turbocharger is to get more power at higher RPM but not increase the torque. And you ask, why do, I, why do I not want more torque? Well, there's two reasons. One is there's only so much torque the tires can handle and it just puts the tires up in smoke and the car doesn't accelerate any longer. So what we'd like to see is by the limit of adhesion, the tire turning over just a little bit faster in the back than the front. They're always propelling the car forward as fast as possible without having the tires go up in smoke. But the other reason is torque is a twisting action. It will break drivetrain parts in your car. Transmissions and differentials, U-joints and that sort of thing. And we don't want to break those parts for long-term durability. The other thing it does when you overspin the turbocharger by making a lot of torque, if you don't taper the boost back down again, it just generates a lot of heat and the engine becomes inefficient at higher RPM and loses peak power. And finally, when you're running through the gears where you're revving up to 6,500 and then shifting and the engine falls back to 4,500 to 5,000 RPM, you spend all of your time up in this part of the power band, which is why the engine makes the most amount of peak power up here. We don't spend a lot of time down here. Okay, so what we're really doing is we're putting the drivetrain at risk for durability issues, basically potentially breaking the parts or at least wearing them out a lot sooner, and we're not really making the car go any faster. So a much better solution is to limit the torque to a reasonable level a level that we know the dry trim won't break at, but have the torque fall off smaller or slower amount uh, and make more peak horsepower at higher RPM so the car accelerates faster. Now we get our cake and eat it too. We get the fast accelerating car, we get a durable car that lasts for a long period of time.